No quadro Ana Rosa, arroba atualidades desta semana, você vai conferir uma entrevista exclusiva com a Miss Israel 2013. Israel é um pequeno país de apenas 8 milhões de habitantes, mas é um gigante quando se trata de atrair e absorver novos imigrantes. Aos 12 anos, uma menina órfã é salva da miséria e da pobreza de um pequeno vilarejo da Etiópia. E aí, ela emigra para Israel graças à lei do retorno, numa fantástica Operação Relâmpago de muito sucesso de resgate que se chamou Operação Moisés e Operação Salomão. Passados apenas 10 anos deste episódio, essa menina se tornou uma linda mulher. E eu digo isso literalmente lindíssima, aclamada e respeitada por toda uma nação. Essa menina é hoje a atual Miss Israel e o nome dela, Yatish Titi Ayanaro, está aqui do meu lado para o deleite de todos os nossos telespectadores. Titi, thank you very much for being here with us at Shalom Brazil. And um, I'd like to ask you, you know, You arrived in Israel at the age of 12 as Ola Hadasha, mm -hmm. um, How was your adaptation to the Israeli culture? I mean, were there many obstacles being an immigrant from a small uh, group of uh, Ethiopians? Well, um, to be in Israel, to come to Israel from Ethiopia, it's really different. Uh, first, because of the cultures in mm -hmm. Israel. Uh, the language. The language, yeah. And uh, I came to Israel and I, I didn't was in Ulupan. I go straight to regional school. So, so how did you learn the uh, Alone, the alone. I was reading uh, books, kids, and everybody was laughing at me because I was like too much big to, to write all these books and uh, I learned alone. Titi, your story is amazing, Titi. You know, uh, you just came from a, a small village of Gondar and uh, after 10 years of being in Israel you achieved visibility and recognition for Israel from a whole nation. What kind of, of message you understand Titi that life is giving back to you? I think um, I'm, I'm really young and I feel that I, I did until now I did whatever I, I want to do. Uh, I make that my dream it's uh, <coughs> come true and um, I think life can be changed every time you don't really know what will really happen tomorrow you know I don't really imagine when I was in Ethiopia that after 10 years I'm gonna be finished my high school with really good uh, grades and I'm gonna be officer in the army and being at the army I know that you you were an officer of a group of 80 uh, soldiers yeah is that true Yeah, it's true. I was the How did they only <laughs> Well, first time they saw me and I, they saw I'm a female, they're like, oh, she's a female and we want boys and we are the good soldiers. And I was really tough. Titi, how did you enter this competition? Whose idea was for you to go from the army to become Malkata Yofi, the, uh, the, uh, the queen beauty of Israel? Well, uh, my best friend, Uh, his name is Noah. She's really small girl, and she's Hyman, Hyman girl. And the first time that she saw me in the school, the first day that I was in the school when I come to Israel, she said, "Oh my God, you are so beautiful. We need to send you up in the beauty queen, and you will be a um, winner, and I will take your prize. That is car. She wants to take my prize, the car. And she said that like bef ten, ten years ago." So there was a joke. Yeah, I, I, no, she believed in that joke. For me, it was a joke, but she believed in that. For the last 10 years of your life, you were, you've been I listening to this. I all the time heard her, yeah, listen, listen to her that she planned to um, send me up. And the day of the auditions, yes. I didn't wake up. <gasps> I didn't wake up. I, I, I told her, I don't know, I don't want, you know, I want to be a model. Maybe I don't need to be a beauty queen. You did not believe that you were so beautiful and pretty. Yeah, I know, I know I'm uh, looking good, you know, I'm not there, uh, there, but, uh, you know, I, I don't really thinking about to be a beauty queen of Israel, it was really big for me, 
you came to Brazil invited by the Israeli consulate and the Keren Ayesot and the uh, Universidade de Zumbi dos Palmares in order to receive a trophy, the Raça Negra. And uh, my question to you is, Titi, uh, in the last year as uh, Beauty Queen of Israel, what other places, what other significant events have you, uh, have you been, have you participated? Uh, well, uh, so many. <laughs> yeah, it's really many. Um, first, I was in Rome. You know, it was really surprised for me because they didn't know that in the world they have like a Jewish, uh, a black Jewish. So I was I was there and talking about uh, Mivta Moshe, Mivta Shlomo, yeah. and uh, you know it's all the Italian. They didn't know that we have a black Jewish. So it, for me, it was big honor to to give for these people to know that all we the exist. Information. <laughs> all yeah. the information. And also, Titi, you had the the privilege and the opportunity to meet two presidents, right? President Obama <laughs> and uh, Shimon Peres. President uh, Barack Obama, when he first saw you, what did he tell you? He said, oh my God, you are really beautiful. I didn't have really time to talk with Obama because we, we went with the... Uh, that was in Israel, right? Yeah, it was really three minutes. And what did uh, Shimon Peres tell you? He really uh, represents me uh, in front of Obama really good. He said that uh, she's our Queen Sheba. Yeah, Queen yeah. Sheba. And uh, I, I, lo I love our president. He's, he's not a uh, longer president, but I, I really appreciate always. it. Shimon yeah, Peres he will, will be always our president. Titi, um, you, you achieved your dream, being the beauty queen. This is a dream. Now, what are your plans for the future? Well, I plan to to continue with the, my career in the, I want the international career of in the modeling. modeling. Uh, yes. Okay, my last question to you, Titi. To whom would you like to send a very special shalom? Uh, I would like to say uh, shalom and thank you uh, for the community, to, for the Jewish community in Sao Paulo and uh, also in Brazil. I really enjoy to be here and uh, it's my first time in Brazil and you have a beautiful country. I really enjoy it here in Brazil and uh, this is it. Thank you very much. You are and coming I will, back. Yeah, I will, I will back. I will back. I will back as a big model and you, you will saw me again. Yeah. Chiti? Thank you. Todarabá. Todarabá. Yofi. E vocês em casa continuem com Shalom Brasil. <laughs>